Hello everyone, welcome to my very first tutorial. So you've just uh, bought Corral Video Studio Pro 4, you're keen to get going, there's a few things you'd like to know before you start. If you're like me, I was an absolute beginner, I probably still am in, in the eyes of many, but anyway. So uh, today I'm going to teach you how to crop your video footage before you enter it into your timeline, which is very easy to do. Now I'm, I'm assuming that you do know your way around the Corral Video uh, Studio project, but if you don't, that's cool. Bear with me. It's very simple. What we do is we uh, click on the folder here, then we look for our footage. So wherever your footage is, just click on it and it brings it into your project window which is here you can see a preview of your file here so as you can see it's pink <laughs> now this is a little video I did of my daughter playing in the pool having fun so uh, yeah now this little thing that I'm playing with here is called a scrubber if you can move it along it just basically tells you where your footage is what it's doing Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. That's not why you came here. You came here because you wanted to learn how to crop your file before you enter into this timeline here. So very simple. Double click, which opens up another window, which is called your trim window. You can do it two ways. You can press play, like so, and then you can watch your little click go by, and then you go, oh, yeah, that looks good. Or... Let's bring it back to the beginning, shall we? Or you can just use the scrubber slider, as I call it. You can use the scrubber slider, very similar to what we did up here. Scrubber slider. And you can see your footage again. All right. So, now obviously uh, there's a lot of pink here. And it's the intro that I made originally on the Windows Media Player. Now that I have bought Corral Studio, I find it actually a lot easier to use and a lot more fun and you can do so much more with it. So that's why I really enjoy using this. So okay, again I'm blabbling. So I don't want all the pink, so for this one I'm just going to press the little play button. And now the pink disappears and I think, yeah, that, that looks good. That's where I want my video to start. So I will press the little tool or the little beginning scrubber marker here, like so. Then I want to also find out where I want to end it. So again, I pull the little scrubber slider all the way along, little timeline, till the, the part where I think, yeah, that looks nice. This is where I want to actually end it. Or so. It's a long clip, isn't it? I get bored, I just video my daughter. I got nothing else to do during the day, so why not, I guess. So I think about here because the video clip actually changes from being in the pool to playing in the pot. Isn't that strange? You buy a big blow up pool and then she still goes and plays with the pot. Kids, you never understood them. Anyway, so yeah, this is about where I want the video. So I now will then do the end scrubber. There you go. Now, you can, as you can see, it's still actually all here on the timeline. This part, just because it's grey, it still actually represents that the video is here, but you no longer wish to view this video. So once you're happy with where you want the video to start and to end, press OK. And you also notice now your thumbnail has changed. It actually changed to the start of where you wish your video to begin. So once you've done that, click it, hold it, drag it into your timeline. And there we have it. Watch it now. See? So now I just press my space bar in order to play the video footage. Or you can just press, you know, the little video play pause icon here 
So as you can see, it's working quite well. Now I'm not going to bore you, make you watch six minutes of my daughter playing in the pool just to prove to you that I did crop the end. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pause the film. I'm just going to drag the scrubber again all the way to the end. And as you can see, by the time I reach the end, the footage has disappeared. So there you go. Now you know how to scrub the beginning of your film and scrub the end of your film. So you can then put it in your timeline, saving you a lot of time, not watching endless movies or the beginning of movies that you don't really require. So I hope this helped you out. I'm sorry I just waffle on for a while. Like I said, this is my first tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.